Chris, getting a chance to play a little more in spring, did that give you some confidence going into the camp this year? Yes, sir. Um, being that I hadn't really seen the field that much my last two years, uh, getting back into the speed of the game and getting back on there and trying to have a contribution to the defense this year definitely felt good and definitely boosted my confidence going into this spring camp for sure. Are you cross-training at all or are you just sticking it down right now? Uh, yeah, Coach Rise has us, uh, everybody rotating pretty much. So I'm trying to learn both and and those, you know, so just trying to make myself more versatile to be able to do the best I can for the defense right now. And what's the biggest difference between playing those and them? Um, it's essentially pretty much the same if to me once I got the hang of it. Uh, the biggest thing really just footwork and, you know, making sure you play your techniques and stuff right and that you're seeing the blocks well and reacting to blocks well and just playing hard and playing low. But basically, it's kind of essentially all the same general idea. Are you guys able to kind of, I know Coach uh, Woody wants to roll guys in games and stuff. Is that something you guys do even in reps and practice or scrimmages? You're, there's not necessarily ones and twos and stuff. It's just guys rolling? Absolutely. Um, Coach Ross has a, has a good rotation of all of us going on going right now. And we're all just trying to see, and he's trying to, I'm sure, see and feel who, who's going to play more than who or, you know, who's going to get the bulk of the reps. But right now we're all rotating well, just trying to get things on film so we could uh, prepare for the season. As you kind of get used to the defense and so forth, I, what kind of hopes do you have just for yourself as far as how you can perform and what you can do? Well, uh, for me, it's just uh, just baby steps. You know, I haven't been on the field these last two years. So I'm just trying to work hard every day, get better day in and day out so I can have a contribution to the defense, make plays when I'm needed, and uh, just do my job when my, call, when my number is called. And um, that's my expectation. And of course, when I get into games, make plays, you know, saying do good things to help us, help us win. I imagine that traveling and being able to get into some game reps and stuff makes camp a little bit more tolerable for you. Just the kind of idea that knowing that you're going to get a chance to, to play some this year and contribute meaningful snaps. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, to me, the feeling of the team is everybody's trying to get better. You know, it's not one like somebody's traveling who's kind of feeling relaxed, like Kyle's been playing for four years now, Brentavious has been playing a long time, but I feel like we're all playing just as hard. You know, everybody's trying to play hard, everybody's rotating, good and good reps, but um, yeah. How are Quan and, and Luke coming along? Good. They're 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 doing really good right now. They're learning. They're getting adjust to the speed of the game. Uh, they're definitely handling the, what we're learning, and they're translating that to the field pretty good, I would say. So uh, I would definitely expect good things from them coming soon for real. Do you know if all the defense has been put in yet, or are they are they still? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm just you know <laughs> executing what they put what they what we go over in the media. How many calls are you working on now? Uh. We we got we got a few calls in, but you know I, I'm I'm sure we have a lot to learn. Like we're just kind of scratching the surface of the defense right now because it's very uh, quick and fast, and you know we're learning how to play the way Coach Woody wants us to play. You know, so uh, we're all just learning. How does the running from all of that rally into the football and the, the kind of energy the aspect of it different from what you guys used to do? Yeah, uh, Coach Woody and uh, his staff definitely, and Coach Rise, you know, definitely brought in like a a new level of tempo like you know a lot like on like it's definitely more emphasis on the scout look and what we get from there and it's a big emphasis on running from drill to drill and making sure we're getting on the hustle tape and running to the ball so it's a it's a big deal for us this year rallying to the ball and playing fast and getting 11 hats to the ball do you feel like that's going to make a difference i mean you're going to play in tampa week two it's going to be ridiculously hot and mm -hmm. humid and probably here in the first game too. Yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of what Coach Johnson just said today. Like, we'll be, you know what I'm saying, thankful that we are going so hard in the heat and running because it's preparing us for the season and the teams that we're going to be playing. So it's all just good preparation for what we're going, what's going on this season. What's, what's the hustle thing? Just, uh, we, you get highlighted for, you know what I'm saying, showing great effort on the film. Mm -hmm. And Coach Woody just, you know what I'm saying, recognizes you. So it kind of creates like a, a competition in the room because everybody wants to be on the hustle tape as much as possible, you know. How much have you been on it? I've been on it a few times yeah. <laughs> to, be, to be bigger, yeah. I'm trying to get on it more, you know. I want to be on there every play. That's, what it, that's why I feel like everybody on the defense is striving for, you know. Always hungry, just trying to be the best defense as possible. You know, every year is a challenge. Of course, you get Clemson, you play them every year. It's always tough. How prepared are you for the tough challenges ahead and the competition, some of the, the good teams you're going to have to face in the season? 
Well, I, those are definitely great teams, and I feel like the team as a whole right now, we're, we're pretty resilient, and we got some tough people on our team for sure, with Brandt leading us, a linebacker, you know, some people come back in the secondary, defensive line. So I, I, I definitely have faith in us as far as hard work and our resiliency and our mental toughness. So I think uh, we're just going to keep working day in and day out, and I feel like when the time it comes to play those teams, I, I feel like we'll be prepared. Who's a freshman that's impressed you this in camp so far? Uh, out of the whole defense? Sure. I really like what uh, Jaquez has been doing. Jaquez, when he's back there talking, it feels like a, like a veteran back there behind me, you know? Uh, Jaquan Griffin plays a great pad, pad level, and he's a really, really strong kid. And um, I think it's a lot of the freshmen. All of them are doing really, really well, you know? But just what I've seen, I, I'm really impressed from, from them too, for sure. Besides the, the hustle tape, what are ways that the coaches kind of reinforce that you, you all have to get to the ball and, and play with that short tempo? Just um, repetition of watching their film every day. You know, we, we watch, you know what I'm saying, how Coach Woody um, played defense when he was at App, you know, just looking at film of how great defenses are. And great defenses always run to the ball. So. Brandt has really enforced and made a statement that, you know, we want to be a great defense this year. So in order to do that, we all have made the stride and the effort to just make sure we get in good shape and run to the ball. How long does it take? Like, is it something you do every night or every, after every practice? Or? We usually do it before um, in our defensive meeting. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry, anything else? Notice they're matching. Maybe kind of matching shirts. <laughs> all right. Defensive back. So what's up, Chris How you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm tired. Camp kind of grinding at this point for guys? Yeah, it's the last stretch, you know, it's fighting it through, fighting through. Coach Johnson said the other day he thought that you had a really good camp. Kind of what do you think has kind of led to your, I guess, standing out amongst all those safeties? Um, I just say just a little bit more experience. Um, I spent a little bit more time in a film room, you know, just trying to do the little things right. So, I mean, it kind of shows on the on the field, I guess. Do you like kind of what your role is right now in defense? I mean, I do. Right now I don't have a set role, so I'm kind of moving around, and I enjoy it to be able to get to know the different positions so it makes me a versatile player. Do you have a preference kind of free safety or stinger or strong? I really don't have a preference, honestly. I mean, the safety part of it, there's more coverage in the stinger part. I'm more in the box. You know, I get to do a little bit more things. Where do you think you'll eventually end up on opening day? I have no clue, but honestly, if I'm playing two, that just gives me a better chance to play somewhere. <laughs> You've been a stinger all this week, is that right? I have. Okay. How, how, like, how, how have you found that position? Um, the first day, uh, it took a little bit of time to get used to, and I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. Uh, kind of like a linebacker in a sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, the second day, I got the feel for things, and ever since, it's just been, I've had a natural feel for it, kind of. You were going with the ones? Uh, I've been going with each huddle. Yeah. Each huddle I work myself in. I mean, some one huddle I might work with safety. Another huddle I'll be at stinger. Okay. Kind of who else has kind of stood out to you in your group um, of the young safeties? I know there's a lot of young guys that haven't played played any real live game reps. Has anyone kind of caught your eyes from? Um, I'd say all of the younger guys have honestly been competing very well as far as Caleb, uh, Avery, Gentry, Charlie, Wanye. Um, Jared Cole, all of those guys have done a tremendous job to me personally. Is Coach trying to Coach Wood trying to make y'all kind of understand each position by moving guys around some? I mean, so we all meet in the same meeting room, all three safety positions. So he we go over the same things. So guys that don't play that position will hear what the heck the other position has going on. So how much of a transition is it when you? I can imagine the two safe, main safety positions are fairly similar, but. That stinger is a little bit different. Yeah, so um, strong and free, they're different in a sense. I mean, they're both safety positions. But if you know the strong position, then you have an idea what the stinger's doing because they work hand in hand. So me starting off at free safety and kind of knowing what the strong does, I kind of had an idea what the stinger was doing. Who's working at free safety? Um, right now, Jared Cole, Malik, um, and... Wanye Thomas. How's, how's Malik kind of helped you guys? He has a little bit more of an understanding of the defense, just haven't been in it. I mean, Malik does a great job of um, 
helping guys out when they aren't sure what to do just because he's done it for so long. So whenever someone's in doubt, Malik's right there to let you know, yeah, you got it or you need to change this. Has it been weird having to have teaching moments as a guy learning the defense? And, and you, you've played some, but you haven't played a ton of deep line. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not a weird at all. I mean, coming from offense, every moment on defense is a teaching moment. I'm not used to what goes on on that side of the ball. I'm trying to get acclimated to it. You're a guy that's pretty uh, confident and kind of expected, I think, probably to, to play this this much maybe last year even. So is it kind of exciting for you to finally kind of be – in that position to start somewhere on the defense? It's very exciting knowing that you have a chance to go into a starting role. I mean, last time I started was Virginia, and I was only once. And before then, it was my senior in high school. So I'm looking forward to it. How is Malik doing? Malik's doing very well. I mean, it's like he didn't even switch teams. He just jumped right into it. Has he fit in? I mean, you guys kind of made him part of things that you feel like? Oh, yeah. Before? Since day one, we've made him. A part of us. I mean, as soon as he they said we had a transfer, I mean, he was Yellow Jacket, so he's a teammate. With you guys moving around a lot, what what's the communication been like? I know that's a, a pretty, you know, something you really have to do well to, to be successful back there. We communicate very well. I mean, especially I was saying Malik um, being back there and being experienced safety, he does a good job Get of, you lined up right yeah, there. he does a good job of vocalizing and helping everybody line up. And even when he's not on the field, that carries on. Are you eager to like take this on the field and see how it's going to work? Gonna be oh yeah, I can't wait, can't wait at all. I read. I wish Alcorn was out there today. <laughs> so you have more people come the first week to watch you play, knowing kind of what's going to happen, and there's going to be a lot of fans on. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, there's always the immediate family that wants to just come and see me on weekends, but. Now I'd say outside of the immediate family, I have like friends that will come now. There's a reason to come because I'm playing. Uh, hopefully I'm playing. Do you feel like you're playing faster as a defense maybe because there's more certainty in what you guys are doing? Um, I'd say we're playing faster as a defense um, because things are a little bit simpler for us. Mm -hmm. And I feel like as a defensive player, when you don't have to think a lot, then you just move faster. Mm -hmm. Anything else for Christian? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you brother. All right. Questions for Coach Johnson. How are you uh, enjoying your new gear? You Adidas? Well, no, I'm saying you usually wear like the same blue. blue uh, <laughs> well, Adidas, Russell had one color. Adidas has different colors. <laughs> so it's an improvement then. You can see yeah, it's one. different for sure. What flavor did you choose today? I guess with we, ice, maybe with the ice cream. Oh, I didn't have any ice cream. <laughs> Us fat boys are losing weight. <laughs> so how's practice been? Last it's week? been okay. I mean, you know, it's it's like everything. It's like football camp. There's some that's good, some that's not good. Uh, we've got a lot of work in. We've got to play a lot. Uh, we'll go tomorrow in shells and cut back a little bit and then scrimmage Saturday and then Monday we'll start scouts. I imagine you'll keep the, the gold on the quarterbacks for probably – Yeah, for year. probably ever since there's only two of them. <laughs> Yeah. When well, do you expect to get Graham back? Uh, he may be back tomorrow, either tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure. Going through camp thus far, what's your biggest concern heading into the season? I think just uh, experience, like in the secondary, and depth at certain positions. If we can keep everybody healthy, uh, then, you know, I think we got a chance. But like any team, there's very few teams that, that have depth past a couple of guys. and. You get a couple of guys hurt at the same position, and it's a killer. So what do you like thus far? Well, I think the effort's been good. And, uh, it, you know, we kind of pride ourselves on trying to be tough and hard-nosed and physical. And uh, that's what you try to transcend. That's the way we practice. So hopefully it carries over to the games. From what you've seen from the defense, <clears throat> do you anticipate creating more disruptive plays in the backfield? I hope so. I mean, that's why we're doing what we're doing, trying to create some negative plays. So I would hope so. You said, I remember when uh, Nate was hired, that one thing you liked about them, just watching them play, I think it was in the bowl, you know, they played going 100 miles an hour. I'm curious if you've seen, I mean, it's all of us hard to tell going against your guys, but well, do you see that? Like. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to coach it, but it's not like we didn't try to coach that before. Right. So, uh, you know, we'll see. I think you can play faster if you're sure of what you're doing. Is that what you're saying? I mean, do you did they have well, I think that's offense, defense, no matter what. If I'm out there playing and I have to think about what I'm supposed to do, it slows me down as opposed to I got that gap and boom, here I go. I'm getting upfield or I'm 
it, you know, no, no decision. Have huh? you seen that, that confidence? Yeah, I think they've created a lot of negative plays in practice. And I don't know whether that's because they're any good or because we're really bad. So, But at the same time, they've given up a lot of big plays in practice. I don't know if that's because they're really bad or we're really good. You won't know until about three games when you start playing other people. Coach, we get anxious because every day they really try to get closer to the season. Yeah, I get start to get anxious at this point simply because you worry about injuries. And once you get to the scout thing, then you kind of take a little bit of a of sigh of relief, but still it's fluke. I mean, you can look at what happened to Lucas, and, and it's just fluke. You know, you just step wrong, and and uh, it happens. So you just – you don't know. Do you have sure. a timetable kind of on his recovery? Oh, I now? would think – I would doubt he would be back this year. With the defense now blitzing from all different angles, different spots on the field, does that – help prepare the offensive line for pass protection any better than it used to? No. I mean, we worked on pass protection all the time anyway. Sometimes it just comes down you got to be able to block guys. How much of the uh, of, has the offense been implemented so far? All yeah. of it. All of it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm How's Samari Walton doing at corner? I know that you may need one of those guys. To play. Well, he's doing okay. I mean, I noticed him. All those young guys out there are doing okay, I think. Has Jalen King been able to? Yeah, he's been live for about a week. You said it would be 14 days or so before you knew which one of the freshmen would be able to contribute. Was Saturday was scrimmage? Saturday will help. We'll know on Monday who's staying up with the varsity, and if they stay up, odds are they'll be playing at some point. Uh, a lot of that depends on depth and who's hurt and how quick they pick it up and, and all those things. Are you going to have to travel more guys in the, in the fall? You can't. The conference has a rule. You can only travel 70, I think, in the conference. It might be 72, but that's that's the rule. Has Stephen Dolphus come back? Or yeah, he's been practicing for a week. How tight is the competition with him and uh, Malcolm? Uh, you know, we'll evaluate. Stephen's still got a cast on, so they're going to cut it down tomorrow or whatever. So it's a little bit different, but they'll both play. I mean, right now, to me, Malachi's done a really good job. He's probably the third receiver, I would guess. I had sat down and talked with Buzz. <laughs> But Quan will be in goal on Saturday. Yeah, he's he's always in goal. I mean, he had one live series last Saturday. Yeah. Chris Tobias, how do you feel about his running? <laughs> he's hit and miss. He's he does some really good things, and then he's like a young quarterback. He so, uh, but I I could call a game with Tobias. Anything else for coach? All right. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, coach. Yeah, y'all yeah, doing? Okay. How, how has it been different for you from playing the tackle last year to playing the nose this year? Uh, it's not much different. It's more aggressive. We got to we got more aggressive getting our gaps. More of a one gap scheme, so we got to win our gaps. It looks like you have trimmed down some. Um, kind of that's sort of a function of having spring in this, and then all the running you guys have been doing in camp as well. Uh yeah, but I'm still trying to lose weight. Still just trying to get down to more, more of a, like a lesser weight, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> and you sort of have the toughest challenge with all these guys. You talk about rallying to the football and stuff. Is the biggest guy on the field? I imagine <laughs> there are times where that's a little bit tougher to, to be. It a is. Guy. It is, but you got to just push through. Because I mean, in order to play on Saturday, you got to. You know, nobody cares if you're the biggest. You just got to get to the ball. How do you feel like your camp's gone so far? Uh, I feel like I've been doing well. I feel like we as a defense have done well, too, just learning everything, just trying to learn and then process on the field and then seeing new formations and stuff and then just playing through everything. So I feel like that not only myself but the defense as a whole has done well. You expect to see a lot of uh, rolling in and out of the nose and, you know, having fresh guys out there all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that's one thing that uh, Coach Woody actually is, or emphasized when he came in. It was just like that. It's going to be a lot of rotation. We're going to have a lot of fresh guys, so no one is going to be like dead. And if we are, we're, I feel like we prepared for that. Really helps on third down, like at the end of the half, that type mm -hmm. of thing where George Tech struggled before. Yes, sir. Frank, can you explain how the defense is simpler? What makes it simpler? Uh, really, like I was saying before, it's just really one gap. So if you can just win your gap, somebody's going to fit right behind you. And so then, even with that, we're, we're on a, like there's a free player at the back there to just chase the ball and make plays, and then we're all rallying to the ball. Uh -huh. So it was, before last time, it was kind of more like a, 
well, if you see it, jump over into the other gap. But I mean, it's still about making plays, but it's just the premise of it is just win your gap and then somebody win their gap. Mm -hmm. If we all win our gap, somebody's free. So it's, it's less freedom then, is that? Yeah, it's just, you know where you got to go, get there. What's been the biggest adjustment for you? Uh, honestly, just being more aggressive, like being in a backfield of the offense rather than rather than uh, being on the line of scrimmage and just holding, more so just going. So, yeah. I imagine it's more fun, though, the defense. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's a lot easier. And, I mean, it's college football, so, of course, you have to read sometimes, but just the mindset is just go. Just get to from point A to point B as quick as you can. So it's okay for you to get in the offensive Oh, that's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wanted. Can I ask, like, you, you do look a lot. How much do you like? Uh, 320. Okay. Mm. Where, where you, like, where were you getting the last season? Uh, the end of last season? Mm -hmm. Around, like, 335. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I know you can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just trying to get down some more. Yeah. I remember last year you were saying you climbed up the Still yeah. Like that? Uh -huh. I did. I did it with uh, Will and Coach Sisk, and it was a uh, Mikey, Mikey Minahan. Okay. Will O'Brien. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. How many, like how often did you guys do that? Uh, we just did it once this summer, uh -huh. and then uh, we did we did with Fat Man Camp. <laughs> yeah. What was the toughest thing you did there? Uh, just getting up is honestly the toughest. Since he doesn't try to really kill you, like you, getting up is the hard part. But you'll work when you get there. Yeah. yeah. How often was that something you had to do? Uh. Well, for me, this summer I had to wake up for about a month at like five, and then wait till six. So, but it's worth it. Yeah. Are you excited about the? You're heading back into camp here. I imagine it's kind of exciting to kind of see the finish line up there. Yeah, it's very exciting. I'm ready to get the season rolling. So, yeah. Can you turn on your body feel at this point? Uh, usual, beat up. But, I mean, we got recovery is like a big part of it. So, if you can take care of yourself as much as you can, I mean, everybody's not going to be 100% all the time. So, it's just about getting your body to, like, that level where you can play. And, I mean, everybody's hurting. You just got to push through. It's always a battle. Do you feel a difference in your clothes, like in the gear and stuff, being more breathable and oh, yeah. flexible? Does that help? I imagine as a big guy playing low, that, that probably helps. Yeah, like Adidas feels like nothing uh, compared to what we had last year. What did you think from Chris Martin? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's my dog. Uh, he's coming along well. I mean, he he's a part of the defense, and I feel like he himself, he's learned and grasped like a bunch of the techniques and the, he has the talent to play. So I feel like he'll play a lot this year. Can you ask him today? Huh? Can you ask him today? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> no I couldn't touch it. <laughs> couldn't touch it. Kudos to you. Yeah. Well, thank you all. <laughs> I just saw half of your hat. And I saw the end of it say GA. <laughs> it's a good thing that didn't have a U in front of it. I'm just kidding. All right, questions for Brent. You uh, pretty excited about getting ready to close that camp? Absolutely, man. It's it's been a great camp thus far. We've had we've been able to prepare really well. Of course, we've had really hot weather, and uh, you know that's what we've needed to acclimate ourselves to get ready to go down to South Florida and so you know it, it's been it's been great you know everybody's come together and really put a good effort towards learning this new defense and the offense is coming strong at us so we've just been competing the whole time and everything's really come into place to have a great camp thus far. Any surprises on defense? Uh, no not really you know I, I know I knew coming into it we've got a bunch of guys that love to play the game and uh, you know, nothing nothing to surprise me. I mean, I, I love the guys I'm surrounded with. And, you know, you, you, what you see is what you get with those guys. What's kind of your comfort level right now, your understanding of the defense and what your job is, and kind of getting other guys lined up too because that's part of it too? Well, I'm gaining comfort every day. I mean, it's, you know, the first, as, as we go along with the process of learning it and, uh, you know, as we install blitz packages and, you know, all, whatever we're installing right now, you know, um, 
you know, we're, we're really catching on and, you know, the guys are loving it. I, I love it. I mean, I'm able to fly around and, and run to the ball, you know, better than I have in the past, you know. So I, I'm, I'm real comfortable with it. You, that, you seem more relaxed in general, kind of just even talking to us. In terms of when you talk about it, do you just feel like it's kind of a good fit for you and you're going to have a big season? I do feel like it's a good fit, and uh, I feel like what we're doing is, I don't know, you know, when you're, when you're starting to just move around a lot and, and making plays behind the line of scrimmage, that's what you want as a defense, and that's what brings excitement. That's what people want to see. And just the, just the running to the ball aspect, you know, that's something that's really changed this, this camp. A lot of the guys, we've got a hustle tape. We, you know, you want to get on the hustle tape. And so every day when we come in, um, they'll put on camera who's running to the ball and, and who's finishing through. And, you know, it's getting guys to buy in. And, and, and you want to be on that. If you have any pride about yourself, you want to be on that hustle, hustle tape. So, you know, I, everybody's just getting after it, man. Everybody's enjoying it. The, the speed and just the, the way you're able to fly to the ball, is that – I remember there's a few things – that are incorporated, but is it just having fewer calls or is it things are like just the calls themselves are simpler or is other things, how would you kind of explain? Well, I, yeah, I mean, the, it's, it's simple, you know, it's, we get lined up and we go, we go after it and we're not really sitting back having to think too much and having to, you know, process a lot. Of course, still, I've, I've got to make the call whether or not, you know, what well, you know, what what we're doing out there, I'm, you know, I still have to make a few calls, but for the most part, guys are just we're lined up and we're ready to go. So that's that's something that's really just allowed guys to kind of let loose and just go play and be athletic. You almost sound like there's a culture shift. Uh, you know, last year to this year, you're talking about flying around. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the, the mentality last. You know, you know what I mean. It just seems like this year. Yeah, there has there has there's definitely been a change. There's been a change in. I think, no disrespect to last year's senior class, but I think ours is, you know, I think we're a lot closer and, and you know, we're holding each other to a higher standard and we're tired of having five and six seasons and, and, and three and nines. And so, you know, everybody's just really come together and, and, and that's that was one of the goals of this season is to come in and change it and change the standard, change the culture. And to to prove that you know we are one of the best defenses in the nation, and we can be that. So, and that's that's what we're trying to do with with the little things like running to the ball, or you know making sure you know what you're doing before you go out on the field. You know, taking that extra time in the film room and studying. That's that's this is little things here and there that we're trying to do in order to change the culture and and, and how we play. I'm curious. I asked Chris this, but like, in what way do you is is this Everyone flies the ball. What way is that most strongly enforced or reinforced either during practice or after or whatever else might be? Uh, I mean, like I said earlier, I mean, you know, they're given incentive to, to be to the ball. I mean, you want to make tackles, right? That, I mean, anybody that wants to make tackles and wants to be a good player is going to run to the ball. And, you know, little things like being on a hustle tape, getting getting that recognition in front of your teammates and getting that respect and, and showing them that, yes, I, I'm going to run to the ball every single play. You know, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. You're not going to find me a day not on that tape. So uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, and there's not much of a punishment. It's just, you know, who are you going to be? You know, are you, are you going to run to the ball or are you going to be one of those guys that nobody really notices? Is there anything like, do you guys have to run after, like ever during, after, during practice if someone doesn't? No, we, no, not really. You got some, some physical and talented young safeties back there. How much is that going to help the front seven? You guys up front, you know, as far as making plays. I mean, that just you know, the better secondary we have, the the more, uh, the more ability we have to just kind of let loose and play up up front and knowing they're behind. Knowing you. that, yeah, exactly. Knowing that they're behind us and and they're going to cover us up, and, and that's another thing. Uh, that, that Coach Woody's tried to, to pound in our heads is go take your shot, you know. And if you've got guys running to the ball, you're going to be fine. Because if you miss, so what? You know, you got a guy coming next. But if you make it, that's even that much better. So 
that's that's the thing. You know, we've we just let loose and we're just playing as hard as we can. And just and that's the front seven has been able to do that because of guys like that in the in the secondary. What's kind of been the key for David, in your opinion? You play next to him. What's he kind of that's helped him kind of step it up this this uh, fall? Man, David's always been a great player. I mean, he's. He's battled injuries his whole career, and you know that's it's unfortunate because he is such a great player. Um, he's smart, you know. He knows what to do, and um, you know he's he's helping me lead the guys. You know, it's us two out there. Um, you know, so I mean, me, I th I think we make a pretty good pair out there because you know we help each other out. You know, he we alert each other of you know a pre snap. Uh, alerts or, you know, or that aspect of the game, just, just anything. And, um, you know, I think he's put some really good effort in and trying to learn it and just as much as I have too, because, you know, like I said, we're all, we're all started at the same, same point. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's doing really, really well out there right now. Curious as a captain, what are your thoughts about uh, Lucas getting surgery and, and Tobias moving up at quarterback? Uh, Tobias has been playing really good. You know, that's it's, un, it's unfortunate for Lucas. You know, we we're gonna miss him. I know that. Uh, I know he juked me out a couple of times in the spring game, <laughs> um, and he's he's been a really good player for us. And we're definitely gonna miss him. Um, but you know what? That's that's the way football goes. And it, you know, as, as bad as it seems, uh, somebody's got to step up. And, and Tobias has done a really good job thus far. Um, you know, any time that I've went against him, he've, he's always done really well. He seems like he's uh, fitting into the offense pretty pretty well. He's got some wheels on him now. He can run, too. So um, I think he's done a really good job. Anything else for Brent? Is, is there someone who's been on the – who's like the, been the star of the hustle take who's been on there the most? Ah, uh, no. He's – Or not like, is there in particular that, yeah, is there that, that you see all the time on the hustle take? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've got different guys on there every day. Um, some of them make it a couple of times more than than others, but um, <laughs> no, I, I, you know we're we're all just trying to try. Hey, if we can get everybody on it every day, that that's the goal. That's the goal. All right, thanks, Brian. All right. Thanks.